the Caribbean was the first place to receive the invasion of foreigners into our lands. We were colonized starting day one, 1492, October 12th. And we are still colonized. We are still oppressed. So welcome to the colony, my friends. Welcome to the reservation, because it's still going on. Leonard Peltier is a political prisoner. He's been a prisoner well over 34 years. My people also have political prisoners. And one of them is Oscar Lopez Rivera. Oscar is 71 years old and he has been in prison for 34 years. 12 of those years have been in solitary confinement. Now you imagine being in, in solitary confinement for 12 years where you see no one, speak to no one, except those who bring you something to eat. These two men, Leonard and Oscar, have a lot in common. Like my people, the Taino people have a lot in common with our relatives of Turtle Island. They are white people. So I say to all of you, since we're still colonized, we're still occupied, because this land is still colonized, this land is still occupied, why are we here? Why are we here? Besides moaning, I don't, I don't particularly care for that word moaning because I don't want to cry. I'm not going to cry. Nah. We don't cry. Right? We did all of our crying. Right? We stand strong. We don't cry. We speak up. And we fight back. That is what we're supposed to be doing. Why are we doing that? Because all of us that are here are fed up. We are just fed up. Enough is enough is enough. From all the four directions, we're being assaulted. And in every way possible, in every way possible, and why do we have to do that? Why do we have to fight back for our future generations? For the children, or there will be no future. While the prayer was going on with our relatives, am I an elder? I was watching intently the faces of the children that are here. There are a lot of children here. And they were looking and they were watching and they were seeing everything that was going on, and they were paying attention. This is why it's important for us to fight back. And we can fight back in many, many, many ways. This is one way to fight back. But another way to fight back is to not support a system that oppresses all of us. Yes. We start supporting a system that oppresses us. Today, there are a lot of people in tomorrow. Tomorrow's Black Friday, right? Black Friday? You know how many people will be out there storming Walmarts and Targets and all that? Tonight. And tonight? We don't belong there. We cannot support that. Not one time. We cannot support it. Especially when there's so many people, all right? that are working for less than seven dollars an hour that's right seven days a week that's no justice we can't support that we cannot support a system that sanctions police officers sanctions them 
to kill at will because they don't like the color of your skin. We do not support that. Can't do that. We cannot support a system that denies, that denies refuge to other people. When, I mean, if we were to do that, then they need to talk to us, the Native Americans. Because we're the ones that need to talk to you, right? We cannot support that. And these are the things that you have to think about when you come to these, these events and when you leave here. That you cannot continue to support a system that violates our human rights. That violates everything that we stand for. Everything that's decent. And that's why we're here. We cannot support a system that is still killing people. It's killing people. We in South America alone, the oil companies have killed thousands of indigenous peoples. They killed them. They go into their villages, they rape their women, they burn their huts, and they kill them. We can't support that. So we need to, as a people, all of us together, never mind the color of your skin. Don't look at that. I don't look at the color of people's skin. I wasn't taught that way. I, wasn't, I never saw it. We need, as a people, to stand strong and we need to occupy every corner of this planet and protest and fight back. Please fight back. Say it with me. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Because if we don't, there will be no tomorrow. We cannot support a system that is killing our Mother Earth. It is destroying it. You know, I think a lot of people fail to realize that we're all in this canoe, this beautiful canoe called planet Earth. And what do some people think? That if there's a hole in the canoe, it's going to pick and choose? Well, you're not going to drown, and you're not going to drown, and you're not going to know we're all going to go. We're all going to go. We need to continue to protect this Earth. Yeah, that is our mission. That is what we're supposed to be doing. So, we came here today, I came here today, to support all of you, my relatives, so we can support each other. We can stand strong together, and we can walk together, and we can fight back together, and we can be strong. Because do not let anyone tell you that, if a, that it cannot be done. We can do it. We can change. We can change the world. Just recently, Amazon.com, 